I'm here in Madrid and I found a lovely gentleman who is willing to chat with us all about relationships and uh, may I say your name? Uh, my name is Andres. Andres? Yeah. Oh, that's so lovely. Nice to meet you, Andres. Thank nice you. to meet you too. Thank you. I'm Sam, by the way. <laughs> nice to meet you, Sam. Um, thank you, Andres. Th and uh, thank you for agreeing to talk with me and just share some of your opinions with the world. So, um, are you dating at the moment? Uh, no, I'm not. Oh, do you um, actively look to meet somebody or you know are you looking to find anybody or not? Not right now. I'm no. just going out of a long relationship I had. Do you want to talk about that at all? Yeah, I have a problem. <laughs> okay, fantastic. <laughs> Let's do that. So, um, how long were you with them for? Um, five years. I was, right. Yeah. And um, who chose to end it, you or them, or was it mutual? Uh, was it, it, it was mutual, yeah. Oh, that's good. That's always nicer, isn't yeah. it? Um, am I allowed to ask the reason? You'd have to answer anything you don't want to answer. <laughs> <laughs> am I allowed to ask what made you break up in the end? Uh, she lives in the United States, and I came to Spain, so we, we couldn't hold a long-distance relationship. It's tough, isn't it? Especially with the pandemic. Yeah. Do you think if it hadn't been for the restrictions that you would have maintained a long-distance relationship? Well, I'm not sure since she had a different... We, we had opposite directions. She did want to stay in the US and I did want to stay here in Spain, so... Right. Fair enough. So it, there were just, it just wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. So do you feel quite peaceful about the fact that you've ended that because it's better for you both? Well, actually, I feel that I mean, when I look inside, I, I am pretty sure that it was the correct decision. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love that. So when you are looking for somebody in this day and age, do you think it's easier or difficult than, say, five years ago or ten years ago? In terms of just people? Or? Yeah, just meeting somebody, getting to know someone, dating them. I think it's easy if you are like straightforward and honest about what you, what you want and what you don't want. Yeah, not game playing. Not game playing, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I, I love that. That's what I. That's is totally my um, my approach and how I advise clients when I'm yeah. working with coaching clients is, you know, just being yourself, um, <laughs> because then you know whether or not you click with that person. Exactly. Yeah. What are some of the things that you don't like about dating in the modern day? Um, like, if you were to say to people, "Don't do this." Well, I believe that people as I told you uh, are not currently st straightforward about what they want uh, there's a lot of playing around uh, not being honest with other people um, giving them illusions and whatnot I think that's the, the hardest part right now yeah that's definitely something I've come across when I've been speaking with people either professionally in my work or just in general like talking to people like yourself um, there is there seems to be a lot of messing about like things like ghosting you know I was exactly. talking <laughs> yeah. I feel like that one touched the nerve it's like I was speaking to a gentleman the other day and he was just saying you know like just don't ghost people you know just let them know where they stand exactly and uh, yeah don't ghost people that's that's the main rule have you that's the main rule are you listening peeps um so have you um have you had many people ghost you at all well, not really, not because I'm the best one or anything, just because when I go for someone, it's because I am sure, like 100% sure that um, uh, it's going to work. If I have doubts or I'm not 100% sure, I would probably not try anything. Got like, you. I, I don't risk a lot. I don't take a lot of risk. Is it that you don't take a lot of risks or is it the fact that you are very aware of what's going on so you trust your intuition trust your gut uh yeah i trust my gut in order in order to protect myself maybe yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah which is really important um and it really helps you a lot when you are just really aware of you know what you're picking up from the other exactly. person yeah but that's what i feel it is uh, that's just kind of my intuitive feeling with you that you're you're not going to waste time with time wasters absolutely because you realize from some of their behaviors so tell tell us what are some of the things that people might do that a girl might do that makes you go i think she's just messing around she's not really serious about you know getting to know me uh well i think that the problem with girls at least that i have experienced is that um at first girls are not into you but they like, I mean, 
they love that they that you like them you know right like that's what what they are um, passionate about knowing, knowing that that you as a man are are I mean chasing in, after them chasing after them you're interested and, in them yeah. so it's an ego boost for exactly. them and so they might keep you around for the ego trip yeah but not necessarily because they're into you that at the beginning of course if you go around and and you have a relationship maybe it might change yeah. or it might not it depends yeah. But that's actually a really good one and it's an important one to be able to identify quickly as well. What else might a girl do that makes you go, mm, I'm not sure this is for real? Um, well, it depends on um, terms of where do you meet people. It's not the same if you meet people uh, in a bar mm -hmm. or if you meet people at, uh, I don't know, a public, I don't know. Uh, library mm -hmm. it's different kind of people uh, so you have to be aware of the place you are looking for people I have friends that are actively looking for their soulmate you know and they always trying to pick up someone at a bar mm -hmm. and at least for me that's not the best place if you want to meet the love of your life your soulmate it can happen don't, don't get me wrong of course but it's not the the the, the thing that uh, usually happens. It's not necessarily the best use of your time. Exactly. I mean, you you can have fun at a bar. I like to have fun at bars, and but I I go there knowing that it might uh, end in that same night. Yeah. That's okay. You don't have to uh, have illusions in your mind to be uh, or to believe that that the relationship is going to last longer than one night stand or something like that. Mm. So where do you think for you personally, because everybody wants different things in a partner, where do you think is a good place for you to meet somebody? Where, where have you found it or where do you tend to look for the more serious ones? Are um, you looking for a serious relationship? I get the feeling that you would be. No, no, not no? actually. I'm just... Uh, you just, uh, you're just having fun right now. I'm having fun, but I'm down to work when it comes to uh, knowing when I'm ready to do to, to that. Uh, I don't know about what place would be the best one, but I know that, um, well, you just have to be aware of what you're looking for. And 100%. for me personally, I don't believe that chasing people, whether it's uh, women or men, uh, actually works because you can, you're kind of desperate and if you're desperate about someone, it will not come to you. You need to just wait for the right time, wait for the right person. I also don't believe that uh, story of, uh, you know, the wrong person, if, if, it's, if it didn't work, it's because it was the uh, right person at the wrong time. I think it's, if it's the right person, it will come at, this, at the, at the at right, the right time. time. Yeah. So as in, if it doesn't work out on this, do you think that that just is a sign that it just wasn't the right person for you? Absolutely. Mm, I'd say most likely yeah. that would be the case. Um, never want to say never because you never know because yeah. it might just be about wrong timing but I, I, I agree I think for the most part if it doesn't work out it just wasn't meant to be you Absolutely. should move on I also love what you're saying is about owning your words because you're saying about not chasing people if they're not like equally chasing you you know it's almost like dancing on a dance floor like if you're both making equal progress towards each other from opposite corners then then there's something in that but if you're doing all the moving towards them and they're not coming towards you then that's a sign, isn't it? Well, not, not necessarily. Uh, I mean, uh, I don't talk about not going after someone you think it's attractive, someone that you find attractive. I mean, if you find someone attractive, you and have to pursue them you initially. You want to meet people and have fun. Yeah. Uh, go for it. I mean, yeah. you you don't have to be uh, disrespectful or hurt uh, someone's feelings yeah. just by going after someone you like. Yeah. Um, it's more of what happens after that. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah talking more long term of course initially you have, somebody has to make a move exactly. you can't both just be like well you move to me no you come and hit on me because somebody's got to make that move I agree no I realize what you were talking about is that if after a while it's you're doing all putting in all the effort and they're not exactly. that's when you know that actually maybe they're not really that into you exactly. and just owning your worth and just saying okay you know it, it was nice to meet you, you know, and time to move on. Yeah, and keep your honor. <laughs> yeah, keep your honor. Yeah, I love that. Is there um, 
a difference for you when you meet someone in person versus when you meet someone online? Do you meet people online at all that you end up dating? Mm, not, not for dating. No. Uh, I haven't. I am open to it if yeah. it comes, but I haven't. So I have no experience in that field. I just have met people always in person. That's something that I've come across a lot when speaking to people, that I feel that people um, perhaps um, around the countries I've been traveling to so far in Europe are actually making more of an effort to meet people in person which I really love, you know? Well, it's... Like it's go yeah. on. No, no, tell me. No, I just feel that there's there's just so much more... Um, there's more romance to it. There's more uh, sincerity to it, you know? Maybe. Something more organic about it. Um, go on. Well, it's, it's funny because uh, I am from Venezuela, from South America. Not... I mean, it, it is a different culture, but not absolutely mm -hmm. we have uh, uh, some common places uh, uh, with people in Europe um, and I was telling you it's funny because all the people from Venezuela that I know and people from other countries or other continents are are like meeting people online it's easier I don't know why maybe because you don't have to face I don't know reject maybe or it's easier to handle the rejection if, if you are meeting someone online rather than, than in person. Yeah. Um, so it's funny because I haven't done that, so I don't know. Yeah, I mean it is so popular online dating and it is a great way to meet somebody. Um, I do find that different people you know, have different opinions about it, so for some people they love it because they can meet lots of people in one go. Um, for other people they will say but actually I prefer meeting someone in person mm -hmm. you know because you get to connect and get a sense exactly. of who they are yeah. you know straight away so if you were to give some advice to the people out there on um, you know having an enjoyable dating experience what would you say um, well first of all be respectful uh, with every uh, everyone um, I think that's what people like most, uh, people that are respectful, um, but also people that are um, confident about um, themselves. So that will be my main, uh, main, main advice, like be confident about who you are, uh, what you bring to the table uh, for other people, and never put someone else before yourself. That's a really key point. Do you want to elaborate on that for me? <laughs> Um, well, I have, like, uh, I think it's pretty clear. Uh, we tend to uh, overestimate people that we love, and um, like, uh, that's that's not really working. If you want to to grow as a person, and also if you want to grow as a person with other person, like your company, you have to both uh, uh, both of you have to grow uh, to grow in their own directions. There's no if it doesn't work if you go or you try to go in the same path I mean you have to follow your your own instinct your own direction and if it happens to come across with other people path, uh, path um, that's perfect oh I love that wisdom Andres is full of wisdom for us oh that is so good is there anything else that you want to say or share or ask at all <laughs> well that was really unexpected I'm here working uh, it's my first day working here and I didn't expect to have this conversation but it was actually pretty funny thank you oh my pleasure thank you for talking to me and sharing You're your welcome. thoughts with the world oh so kind I'll, I'll watch what you do and uh, I'll sure follow you oh fantastic I will follow you back <laughs> thank you so much Andres thanks everyone for listening to his words of wisdom <laughs> bye bye people